Hello and welcome to iQuanta. Today I will be discussing all the algebra questions from CAT 2022 slot 1. Today I will be discussing some really cool solutions uh, for the all the algebra problems. Let us start with the first question. The first question says for natural numbers x, y and z, if x, y plus y, z is equal to 19 and y, z plus x, z is 51, then the minimum possible value of x, y, z is what? Okay, so let us take this expression first. We can take y common. In bracket, we will have x plus z which is equal to 19. Well, as we can see, 19 is a prime number. To write it as a product of two numbers, we can only have one possibility that is 1 into 19 or 19 into 1. Okay. <coughs> so, so if I if I compare it, if I write 1 into 19, then y will be 1 and x plus z will be 19. That is possible. If I write 19 into 1, this thing will not be possible. Why? Because this these numbers are natural numbers. So, the value of x and z would at least be 1 each. That means the sum will be 2. That is why this 1 is not possible. So this case is automatically eliminated. Now, what we have? We have y is equal to 1 and x plus z is equal to 19. All right. Let us take the other expression. Here we can take z common and in the bracket we will have x plus y. By the way, y is already 1. That is established already. So, we will have x plus 1 here and this is equal to 51. Now, 51 can be broken in different different ways. The first way is if I take z as 1 and x plus 1 as 51, that is one of the ways. Another way is z is 51, x plus 1 is 1. By the way, this is not possible. x plus 1 has to be at least 2. So, this will be automatically rejected. Then we have 3 multiplied by 17 and 17 multiplied by 3. All these things we have with us. Okay. <coughs> now, when we do it, here z will be equal to 1 and x will be equal to 50. Now, this is, is again not possible. Why? Because when x plus z is 19, the value of x should be at least 18. It can never be 50. That is why this case is also rejected. Coming to this one, here z will be equal to 3 and x will be equal to 16. And in this case, z will be equal to 17 and x will be equal to 2. So, now we have two possibilities y is for sure 1. So, the product of x, y, z in this case will be 16 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 3 that is 48 and here it will be x, y, z will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 17 that is 34. So, out of these two the maximum possible value is 48 and minimum possible value is 34. We need the minimum that is why we will choose 34 as our answer. Hope that solves the query. Thank you. Question number 2 says, let A, B, C be non-zero real numbers such that B square is less than 4AC and Fx is equal to Ax square plus Bx plus C. If the set S consists of all integers M such that Fm is less than 0, then the set must necessarily be what? Okay, so as we can see, we have a quadratic function. Its graph will always be a parabola. And here the discriminant is less than 0. That means the roots uh, will always be imaginary. Okay. So, we have two cases. In the first case, the parabola would be here. Basically, roots are imaginary. So, the parabola would not touch the x-axis anywhere. That is the first case. And in the second case, the para parabola can be downward facing like this. So, we have such th these two cases and it says fm is less than 0. Okay. So, in the first case, as you can see, whatever you take the value of x, it will always be, fx will always be positive, but you need fm to be 0. That means, in the first case, fm can never be 0. So, the set which consists all the value of uh, m would be an empty set. So, here we have an empty set because nothing is 0 over here. And in this case, as you can see, everything is negative. Everything is negative. fm less than 0, that means it is possible for all the integers. So basically, we will have two cases in which one will be empty set, other will be all the integers, which is there in option B. So this is how we can solve this question very easily without doing much mathematics. Just by drawing the graph, you can get the answer. Thank you. Question number three. The largest real value of A for which the equation mod x plus A plus mod x minus 1 is equal to 2 has an infinite number of solutions for x is what? Okay, so we need to find the largest real value of A. Okay. Uh, to solve this question, we need to take some cases. In the first case, what I am going to take that 
the distance between minus a and 1 has to be greater than 2. Now, why I am taking it? Because, because this thing is nothing but mod of x minus minus a and this is mod of x minus 1. So, basically a modulus gives you the distance of x from the given value that is minus a here and 1 over here. That is what it gives. So, this equation is nothing but sum of the differences of x from minus a and 1. That is what we need to do and that is why I took minus a and 1. So, if, it's, if this distance is more than 2, then what is going to happen? You can put x anywhere, anywhere. If you put x somewhere in between minus a and 1, if you put anywhere. So, as you can see, the sum of difference will always be greater than 2. So, it is not possible. If you put x over here, then distance of x from minus a would be, would can be less than 2. But distance of x from 1 would definitely be greater than 2. That is why this is all not possible. And same goes for here also. The difference of x from minus a would be greater than 2. So, this is not going to be possible. This case is automatically eliminated. The second case. The second case we can have this distance as less than 2. If it is less than 2, then what is going to happen? Automatically, if I put x somewhere in between minus a and 1, it will be less than 2, right? This value will be less than 2, so not possible. But, but there is a possibility that I put x somewhere in the left of minus a in such a way that this, this, uh, this, uh, this and this add up to 2. It is a possibility. So, x will have one distinct value towards the left of minus a and similarly, will also have one distinct value to the right of 1. Why? Because it is a possibility that distance between x and minus a will be less than 2 and then the remaining difference will be covered from x to 1. So, this is a possibility. Here we will have two exact solutions. Well, but the question talks about infinite number of solutions. For that, we need to take one more case which is going to be our exact answer. This is minus a and this thing is 1 and I am assuming this distance to be exactly 2. Now it becomes commonsensical that wherever you put x within this interval, always the sum of the differences of x from minus a and 1 would add up to 2 only. But if you put here or here, it is not going to happen. Okay. <coughs> so from minus a to 1, we will have infinite real values of x which will satisfy this equation. Okay. So we have identified this is the interval. But now we have to identify what will the value of a. Okay. So the minus a should be two steps, two steps ahead or below 1. That is what we want to have. So we can have this way 1 minus minus a is equal to 2. All right. Which means a is equal to 1. Okay. Or minus a minus 1 is also possible is equal to 2, which means the value of a will be minus 3. Now, between minus 3 and 1, which is the maximum? The maximum is 1. Minus 3 is the minimum. So, we not want the largest real value of a, which happens to be 1 option C. So, this is the most beautiful way to solve this question. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Question number 4. Let a and b be natural numbers if a square plus ab plus a is equal to 14 and b square plus ab plus b is equal to 28, then 2a plus b equals what? Okay, let us uh, take this one first and I can take a common. I will be having a plus b plus 1 is equal to 14. Okay, so let us keep this equation for reference and after that, as you can see, that if I add these two, I will get, I will somehow get <coughs> something similar to a plus b whole square. Let us add them. If I add these two equations, I will get a square plus b square plus 2ab. See, this is going to be a plus b whole square plus a plus b. Let us keep it this way and the sum will be equal to 14 plus 20 that is 42. Okay, we have got that. This thing is a plus b whole square and this thing is a plus b. This comes out to be equal to 42. Now, I can take a plus b common from both these values, both these brackets. If I take a plus b common, here I will have one more a plus b and here I will have only plus 1. This is equal to 42. Now if you see closely, a plus b and a plus b plus 1, these two values are 
one step apart. So basically, we need to break for you to do such factors which are one step apart. That is six into seven. No presence for guessing. Six into seven is what we have. This means that value of a plus b will definitely be six, and value of a plus b plus one is obviously seven. Six into seven is forty-two. So now we have the value of a plus b. Wow. This is how we can get the value of a or b also by putting it over here. Let's do it. So if I put a plus b as 6 here, what is going to come? We have a multiplied by 6 plus 1. This is equal to 14. To solve it, the value of a will be equal to 2. Perfect. Now if the value of a is equal to 2, you put it here, 2, 2. So basically, value of b will be 4. Now we have value of a as well as b. We need to find the value of 2a plus b. So 2 into 2 is 4 plus 4 is 8. Option D is going to be the correct answer. Thank you. Question number five. For any natural number n, suppose the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is n plus 2n squared. If the nth term of progression is divisible by 9, then the smallest possible value of n is what? Okay. So here we have uh, sum of n terms, Sn. And if you want to find the nth term, then we can do one thing. We can just subtract the sum of n minus 1 terms from the sum of n terms. We will get the exact nth term that is what is going to happen okay so for that here it is given as n plus 2n square this is going to be the s s n and the value of s n minus 1 is what we get if i replace n by n minus 1 over here so this means we'll have n minus 1 replacing n with n minus 1 is what we get and here we'll have plus 2 times n minus 1 the square bracket close this is the value of t n let us solve this. So Tn will be equal to n plus 2n square minus, let's open this bracket, n minus 1 plus 2 times n square, n square minus 4n plus 2. <coughs> okay. So solving it further, Tn will be equal to n plus 2n square. Let us open the bracket and solve it simultaneously. So, okay, let us solve it first. We have 2n square. Then we have n minus 4n, that is minus 3n. Minus 1 plus 2, that is plus 1. All right. Now, let's open the bracket and let's see what happens. So, the moment you open the bracket, n plus 2n square, everything becomes minus. This becomes plus. Minus 2n square plus 3n minus 1 is what we have. And this gets cancelled. And this is going to save our life, save a lot of calculation, isn't it? So we have 4n minus 1 over here. Tn is 4n minus 1. Wow. And this needs to be a multiple of 9. So what can be the smallest possible value when 4n minus, minus 1 will be a multiple of 9? <coughs> okay, let's do that. So if I if I put n as 2, 4 to the 8 minus 1 is 7. No. 4 to the 12 minus 1 is 11. Again, no. 4 to the 16 minus 1 is 15. Again, no. By the way, we can also use this, this, these uh, options. So at 4, it is not satisfying. Let us put 7. 4, 7 is 28. Minus 1 is 27, which happens to be a multiple of uh, 9. That is why 7 is going to be the correct answer. Thank you. Question number 6 says, let 0 is less than or equal to a, which is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 100. And fx is equal to mod of x minus a plus mod of x minus 100 plus mod of uh, x minus a minus 50, then the maximum value of x becomes 100 when a is equal to what? Uh, this question can be a bit difficult, but uh, let us solve it in a very easy way. First of all, I will take these two values. Moreover, there's one thing that we know that all these values are basically positive or equal to 0. And this is going to be very beneficial for us. So let us mark it like this. A and 100 are the critical points. I mark A over here and 100 over here and let's say 0 over here. So, <coughs> so what does this mean? This means if I take value, if I take x anywhere, anywhere, so the distance of x from A and distance of x from 100 would add up to give what? That is what we need to understand. By the way, <coughs> if I put x anywhere, I cannot put x in this why? Because x has to be at least equal to a. So we can put x only in this interval and nowhere else. It is also has to be less than or equal to 100. So x will be put only inside this. And what is the difference here? 
it's 100 minus A. So, so if I involve these two, I'll always get 100 minus A as a difference. That is something which we are sure of and it is independent of X. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this function as Fx is equal to 100 minus A, which has come from combining these two plus mod of X minus, let us take a bracket, A plus 50 over here. This thing is fixed and this thing is variable. Now what to do? We need to find out that what will be the range of this modulus. What can be the range of this modulus? Let us create that number line again. Here I have A, here I have A plus 50 and here I have 100. Let this be 0. So mod of X minus A plus 50, that is what we need to have. X can lie either here or here. These are the only two cases where X can lie. To maximize X, what can be done and to minimize X, what can be done. Okay. So let's say, let's say I put X somewhere over here, somewhere over here and then I need to maximize, I need to maximize the, maximize the, this, this, this difference. What, what, what can be done? If X is here, we are sure that difference is 50. It's simple. Whatever the value of A is, it will always be equal to 50. Can we maximize it more? Is that possible? So if I put, let's say X over here, then it depends on various conditions. If, if, if I put, if I put A as zero, then this will be 50 and X if lies here, so it will have a gap of 50. That is one thing. What if I take A as something which is more than zero? If I take A as one, this will be 51 and this will be 100. In that case, X which lies over here, I am repeating, this is 1, this is 51, this is 100. So this gap will be of 49 units only, which may, which means that the moment I try to, try to increase A, this distance in this interval becomes, it becomes less than 50. So it is basically minimizing, uh, it is uh, not the, not the maximum value. Moreover, there's one more possible way. What if I put I just shift it here and put A plus 50 equal to 100, then what is going to happen? So A plus 50 is equal to 100, this is 0, in that case X will lie anywhere over here. Now we have got no confusion, wherever I try to put X in this range, then it will always be equal to 50. So maximum, the maximum that we can obtain over here is 50. And it is possible only when A plus 50 is equal to 100. Okay, we are sure about that. Which further means that A is equal to 50. I think we have got our answer. But let us go to the original fraction ones. Original fu uh, function ones. Fx is equal to 100 minus A. 100 minus A. And we have something over there. Any variable part. Fx has, has become 100. That is maximum value which means 100 is equal to 100 minus A and this variable maximized is equal to 50 only plus 50 is what we get. All right. By the way, A is 50 from here itself and if you solve this also, what is going to happen? A will be 50 again. So the value of A is 50 for which the maximum value of X becomes 100. Hope that solves the query. If you have any doubts, just put in the comments. Thank you.